channel. It's an absolutely beautiful, stunning day today and um, I'm now back at home after having a lovely week with my son, daughter-in-law and absolutely gorgeous granddaughter and uh, we had a great week and I was going to do a video of the beautiful view this morning. I've just done photos instead which you just saw. Um, I was just about to take a video and somebody started some machinery so unfortunately I couldn't do the video. Anyway, um, I got a chance to go to Hobbycraft, which we don't have one um, on the island where I live. So uh, my son took me to Hobbycraft and I got two packs of crafting paper, um, which I think will come in handy. So I've got pastel shades and bright shades. I've got this little metal steel ruler. Now I do have a 12, uh, I have a, a small um, six inch ruler, but it's a wide one and I wanted a thin one for small jobs. I got some paints, so I got a gold, a silver and a raw umber, which were ones I needed. I got some, um, this is for beading and things and I use these, they're quite useful for um, joining things together in, that, in my making furniture. And then this looked like it would be really useful, it's for fine detail work and apparently it also glues metals and things. So hopefully that will work well. So that was my, oh, and I also got these, which I'm gonna use for making plants. So that was my hobby craft haul. Um, obviously I'm on a no spend September, but the two exceptions were stuff I needed, crafting stuff, and if I went away and had the opportunity to go anywhere. And of course I did. So I also went to, uh, craft emporium that we used to go to and I got a vintage uh, vintage emporium not craft emporium a vintage emporium I got some measuring spoons now I have actually already got a set like this um, but they're very useful because they go down to one eighth of a teaspoon and um, I thought it won't hurt to have a spare I haven't seen these for years this particular type um, I can't remember who they're made by. I thought mine were made by Tupperware, but um, I don't think they are. Anyway, so I've got those. So I'm pleased with those. And then I got some goodies. So I have got a little plate of bacon, eggs and sausage. So I'm really pleased with that. I got... A little metal um, lead, I think it's lead, um, dog kennel, which I'm hoping one of my little tiny dogs will fit in. I thought it was really cute. And if not, it will work for my husband's train set hobby that he um, is going to be setting up. And then I got a bag of bits. These are all really cheap. These are all like um, 50p in a pound, so these were good. So uh, that is for an iron to stand on, I understand. That's what I was told, so that's for an iron. And then we've got uh, something here that I have no idea what it is. Oh, does it say letters? It might actually say letters on that. So it looks like it might be for a door. And this, which is a fire guard. Um, a, uh, um, I know what it is, but I can't think of the name at the moment. So it's called a doofer. Some bellows. A little comb. Um, I really wanted these, so a little pair of scissors and I might try and cut the loop there off so it does look like a proper pair of scissors and these two little things, I'm not sure what they are but I'm sure they'll be useful for something and a whisk which I really wanted which is good, they'll be good in the kitchen 
and a little cake slice and a clockwork key. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with those little items. So, so it was a mixed bag. I mainly wanted the whisk and the scissors and the others were like a little extra bonus. And I got some little wooden pots, which I will paint up for my plants for uh, Willow Brook and uh, for the little market garden there they have. I've got some little fruit slices for cakes. And I got this cute little dog. He was 50. 50p. And then lastly, I got some pieces of furniture. Again, they were just so cheap. I couldn't say no. I'm, I'm not sure where they'll go yet. Um, but they're in really good condition. I think they were something like two, two pounds fifty and three pounds. So yeah, pretty, pretty good. And then a matching coffee table. So they've obviously got a sort of Chinese type influence. And then I've got this corner cupboard. It's been painted. I may repaint it. I'm not that keen on the paint job. It doesn't look very good. Although, you know, it's it's quite a nice colour and it may go in one of my houses. But I think that was £2 that was. So definitely worth getting for that price. And then I took my little granddaughter into some charity shops and I got her three trolls and I meant to video the trolls she chose before I came. Uh, she calls them mummy, daddy and baby troll. And... Um, and I picked up these ones which were a little bit rarer, I think, or a little bit more unusual. So I got this funny fellow, and he's very cute. I think he's a oh, I can't read it at the moment. I think he's a damn troll. Yeah, I think he's a damn troll. He's very cute. And then I can't turn down tr trolls if they're and that's another one. And then this little cute one, dressed up for Christmas, cute little baby one. I think he's just a normal rust troll, this one, but he's very cute. And then these little teeny tiny ones, which will be probably for Wren and friends. And I, yes, I did take Wren. And I have to confess, she didn't come out of her suitcase, travelling case once, and... Um, Ashamed to say she even missed having the wander around the lovely dahlia gardens that I showed earlier in the week. Anyway, so that was my little haul um, while I was away. Back to my no spend September now. And uh, it was just nice to be able to go to a couple of places that I don't get an opportunity to go to. As I say, there's no hobby craft anywhere near where I live. Um, so it was nice that my son was able to take me to one. And I got a few bits of pieces that I needed and uh, yeah it's nice to get a few little items for the doll's house they weren't needed they weren't necessary but hey I was on holiday it was like a holiday so I'm allowed on holiday that's my excuse anyway and I'm sticking to it so yeah they're my items hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, we'll catch up with you another time thank you so much for watching Thank you for all my new subscribers. It's lovely to have you visit me and subscribe to my channel. And uh, a very warm welcome. And uh, thank you to everyone who leaves lovely comments and encourages me to keep going. And we'll, as I say, we'll catch you another time. Have a great weekend. Bye.